So I've hauled the signs into my office and work area and uh, going to clean them up. Uh, they look pretty good as they are, but they still could use some detailing. Uh, they've just been wiped down with soap and water, I think, more than likely. But uh, as you can see, there's, if you look at it at an angle, there's some staining and kind of watermarks on spots of it. Uh, a little bit of rust some of that will come off um, got some marks here a few little uh, areas here and here and uh, there's on the edges it's kind of dirty as well so I figured I'd give it a good buffing kind of all around uh, and get the gloss up because when they were fresh out of the paper they would have been nice and glossy so I'm going to try to get that gloss back and uh, I'm using some trusty semi-chrome as well and uh, if you have not seen it I will be posting a video on semi-chrome about uh, some changes they've made uh, to the polish I don't know if it'll affect the viability of using it on signs or not but uh, we'll see Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to do some cleanup so you can watch kind of how I'm uh, buffing and uh, polishing out different spots. What I'm going to do is spot, do some spot cleaning first of all, and then I'm going to do an overall cleaning and buffing of the uh, piece. So what, what I'll end up doing is hitting each individual spot and cleaning them up. And then I'll start from one side and do kind of a small section and buff it up and another small section, buff it up, another polish, another small section and buff it up, et cetera, et cetera, until I'm done the whole sign. So yeah, at uh, 20 bucks a tube in Canada anyway, 20, 25 dollars a tube, this stuff is kind of expensive to use, but uh, it is a lot cheaper in the U.S. I think you can get it as cheap as seven or eight bucks a tube. U.S. that is but uh, yeah in Canada for some reason it's expensive as heck but well worthwhile um, anyway so I'm going to use it and get this clean so we'll kind of start right away I just use a soft cloth and I'll get set up here and uh, show you kind of what I'm doing so anyway, I've decided I, what I'm going to do is start from the corners and just go from there and then attack the uh, individual spots as I'm going along and that'll save me some bit of time as well rather than uh, polishing over those spots a second time. Um, in this case, I'm just using an old sock actually, um, just a soft cloth. Uh, is what you need so a soft cotton cloth and socks these are cotton so just going to start in the corners and I put out a piece of paper just so I can work on the edge without uh, staining the cloth underneath anyway as you can see I've already goofed up there and got some polish on the edges but I'm use a circular motion most of the time sometimes it'll be a back and forth to uh, attack the uh, stubborn spots but uh, if it's down to the metal obviously you're not going to be able to polish out that but some of the scratches will have uh, some black edging or whatever you can remove or some rust so it'll minimize the scratch quite a bit Kind of the whole wax on, wax off thing of the karate kid. As you can see, there's dirt coming off. So it may have looked clean, but it wasn't quite. And then flip over your cloth and find a smooth or a clean portion of cloth to buff it with. Not quite coming up as clean as I'd hoped in that little corner, but maybe try it some more here. 
it's, it's best to flip the cloth over often to try to keep the uh, dust and dirt from scratching the surface once it's on your cloth and uh, yeah so there we go and this was the best sign of the bunch so I want to be fairly careful with it I want to get it uh, nice and nice and clean try to maximize my profits of course I'm putting work into it so you want to get your pay for your time too see it's still dirty anyway we'll get uh, actually get another cloth entirely here for buffing that's better and you can almost feel the difference when you go over from a from the polished spot to the uh, unpolished spot you can feel it kind of catching but anyway well I think I'm gonna hit it again still dirty so yeah Ooh, looks like I got some some ink or something there. That was almost devastating. I got some ink or some other color from something else. I should probably get another cloth, get a cleaner cloth. Yeah, see we're starting to leave marks. That's not good. I don't want to do that. Okay, gonna get a cleaner cloth here. Hang on. Okay, just got another old sock. Should work out okay. Though sometimes the uh, the little um, elastics kind of will mar your surface, so you got to be careful. Get the uh, just get a cotton cloth. Basically, is your best bet. Well, it's still a little dirty, as you can see. Okay, we're coming up to an area, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's kind of a watermark here. You can kind of see it on an angle, so I'm going to try to buff that off. kind of this hole right down there like that so anyway we'll attack it get it cleaned off and don't leave the polish on too long you don't want it sitting there because you're going to end up eating through the surface eventually so you don't want to leave it that's why I do smaller patches rather than a large patch because then the polish will be on there too long so you can see getting some dirt off and most of that came off Just a little bit here I'm gonna work on Oop. Of course, I'll lose the lid. Here we go. There we go.
there okay so what I'm going to do is just shut you down here and I'll show you the whole sign once it's done so here it is all clean and ready to go and I've got uh, four more signs to clean up um, so two more like this and then two of another style so that's what it looks like folks so we'll see what we get for it um, I suspect probably around the 600 range something like that but uh, we'll see it's going up on a DOND site uh, deal no deal site so people make offers and then I can accept or decline so we'll see how it goes yeah it's a good piece and uh, yeah I'd, I'd love to have found some of these in mint condition anyway thanks for watching folks please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing picking thrifting scrapping etc take care folks